Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is half controlled converter which is semi converter. This is an important topic. This is also called single phase full wave half controlled bridge converter. Why it is called bridge converter? Actually, this is circuit. Hai. This is the circuit diagram for bridge type of network. What is the major difference? Even though it is a bridge circuit, we are not using 4 SCR. Some log 4 SCR use nahi kar rahe. We are just using 2 SCRs, SCR1 and SCR2. And we are using 2 diodes, D1 and D2. These 2 diodes are called or are acting as prevailing diode. In this video, I have concept of what is the function of prevailing diode and all that. See, uh, due to inherent capability of this diode to act as a free willing or to produce free willing action, you don't have to convert any extra diode for the free willing purpose. So this is the circuit diagram. Now there are two types. Hai. One is symmetrical uh, circuit or symmetrical configuration. It is also called symmetrical semiconverter. This is diagram. Hai. There is one more variation which is called Asymmetrical, sirf yaad kaise rakhna hai dekho. In case of asymmetrical configuration, yaha pe D2 hai aur ye SCR2 hai. Inka position interchange karenge. Matlab D2 ke badle mein SCR2 place karenge aur SCR2 ke badle mein D2 place karenge. That will be the circuit diagram for asymmetrical semiconverter. Waveforms and all other explanation remain same. Only there is a difference in the circuit diagram. See, in this case, we are using RL load, that is register inductive load. So, this is the load which is connected at the output side. Now, let us talk about the working of this circuit. In case of positive half cycle, ye jo terminal hai, ye plus ho jayega. This terminal, this point will be minus during the positive half cycle. We know this first waveform is the waveform for gate pulses. We need to apply the gate pulses uh, for the SCRs. So we have already discussed this many times. Then this is the waveform of input voltage, which is a standard sinusoidal waveform. So we know that 0, then pi, then 2 pi. After 2 pi, the full waveform repeats. Next is the diagram for load voltage. Let us discuss this diagram, which is very important. As I said, during positive half cycle, matlab 0 to pi, I am talking about this half cycle. During positive half cycle, this terminal is plus, this terminal is minus. Due to this plus sign, SCR1 will start conducting. So, but SCR1 will be in forward blocking mode from 0 to alpha reason. Similar to the other cases, we know that at alpha, we are applying a gate pulse. So after application of gate pulse, SCR1 will start conducting. So this SCR1 will start conducting flow of current will be like this through this SCR1 then through this load RL and now observe the diagram. This is positive terminal, this is negative terminal. Uh, we are connecting that D1 over here. Whereas this D2 is connected to positive terminal. So D2 cannot conduct but the current will flow through D1 like this. So this is the flow of current during the positive half cycle. Ideally what happens whenever the value of input voltage reaches pi then it will try to turn off the SCR that is SCR1 this SCR but here the load is inductive we have discussed that the property of inductor is to store the energy since inductor has stored energy this energy will be returned back to the source a concept hum logo ne already learned kiya. now what happens Jase mene bata hai, during uh, after pi after this value pi negative half cycle starts whenever negative half cycle starts this polarity becomes negative, this polarity becomes positive. Now this negative uh, terminal, to this negative terminal, that D2 is connected. So even if after pi, the uh, voltage applied uh, voltage tries to switch off SCR1, but inductor has stored energy. So and after pi, negative cycle starts because of which SCR will start conducting and now the current will flow like this 
through SCR1, then through load RL and then through diode D2, not through diode D1. This will be through diode D2. This happens because of the stored energy of the inductor which is returned back to the source cell. So look at the current waveform. It will be more simple rather. So this is the load current waveform versus omega t. This value of load current increases up to pi because SCR1 is on from alpha to pi. So value is increasing. But just now I told you due to the inductor, use of inductor, this current will be continuous till some time period. Let us say till pi plus alpha. Matlab, jab tak inductor mein stored energy, tab tak ye current continuous rahega. Because of this, this current will now try to flow through diode D2 and SCR1. So, D, because of D2 and SCR1, this load will be short circuited. Whenever there is a short circuit, voltage across short circuit is zero. So, you are getting zero voltage from pi to pi plus alpha. Make it more simple. As I yaad rakhna hai. Yes, D1 and D2 are free willing diode. During positive half cycle, uh, pi ke bar, polarity gets reversed and uh, the circuit will try to switch off the SCR but due to action of free willing diode uh, load will be short circuited so output voltage will be zero and current will try to maintain the same direction so we are getting the current from pi to pi plus alpha this is the function of free willing diode uh, if you want to make it more simple as we have to pi ke baad bhi kuch time period tak current continue rahega because of the inductor action at pi plus alpha, let us say ideally the inductor uh, has dissipated all the stored energy. So after that, SCR will SCR1 will be switched off. But due to free willing action between pi and pi plus alpha, output voltage, load voltage will be zero because this is acting as a short circuit. This happens during positive half cycle. Same thing repeats during negative half cycle. Just as I have told you, during negative half cycle, this will be negative, this will be positive. So, uh, due to this positive terminal, SCR2 will start conducting. So, current will flow like this through SCR2, through uh, uh, register. Uh, I mean register and inductor that is through load and through diode D2. So this is the flow of current during a uh, negative half cycle. Again same thing repeats during negative half cycle SCR2 is on uh, circuit will try to switch it off but due to inductor action due to free willing diode again you are getting conduction of current in the same direction that means from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha but output voltage during this time period is zero. Now, see, as I have told in the video, there are many waveforms. Remember how to keep them. Before we have studied a full wave converter with RL load. What is the major difference between that waveforms, between those waveforms and uh, this type of waveforms? Here, this waveform was like this in the first case. This was continuous voltage waveform and here was the conduction. That's what we discussed. But in this case, the output voltage is zero. This is called semi-converter or half-controlled uh, converter. Next is performance or analysis of semi-converter. First part, average output voltage V0. This is also called DC output voltage. This is the standard formula to calculate average voltage. Now, see, in every one derivation, we have to keep the calculation of it. This, in this case, limits of integration are alpha to pi. Very simple logic. Observe the waveform of uh, output voltage. In that case, SCR was conducting, I mean, SCR1 was in conduction from alpha to pi. So, we are taking limits from alpha to pi. V in d theta. Just as I have told in the video, instead of d theta, you can take the variable d omega t. So, uh, this is v in and standard equation of v in is v m sin theta d theta. I have written uh, the formula which, is required, which are required for this derivation. So, first let us make use of this formula. So, v0 is equals to 1 by pi integration alpha to pi. In place of V in, I will be putting this equation Vm sin theta. So this becomes Vm sin theta d theta. 
so vm is constant can be taken outside the integration so it becomes vn upon pi integration alpha to pi sin theta d theta i have written the formula of integration it's very simple integration of sin theta is minus cos theta so same equation can be written as vm upon pi integration of sin theta is minus cos theta limits are alpha to pi let us put the limits we know the procedure in place of theta we have to put upper limit pi then uh, lower limit alpha and while putting lower limit we have to uh, apply minus sign so this same equation can be written as what i will be doing i will take this minus sign outside so this becomes minus vm upon pi now i will put the limits do remember i have taken this minus sign outside so this becomes cos pi minus cos alpha now cos pi is minus 1 so this equation can be written as minus vm upon pi minus 1 minus cos alpha if you transfer this minus sign inside this bracket then you will get a simplified equation v0 is vm upon pi in the bracket 1 plus cos alpha this is the equation of output voltage or sorry average output voltage v0 second parameter is calculation of rms output voltage that is vrms we know that this is the standard formula to calculate rms voltage formula is 1 by pi integration alpha to pi yaad rakh lo har ek case mein integration ke alag limits hai jaise maine pehle bhi bataya इस केस में SCR1 वाज कंडक्टिंग फ्रॉम अल्फा टू पाई सो लिमिट्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन आर अल्फा टू पाई फॉर्मूला इज इनसाइड द इंटीग्रेशन vn स्क्वायर d थीटा एंड ब्रैकेट रेस्ट टू 1 आर दैट मींस वी वांट टू टेक अ स्क्वायर रूट आई हैव रिटन अ लिस्ट ऑफ फॉर्मूले व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस डेरिवेशन एंड वी नो vn इज vm sin थीटा d थीटा लेट अस पुट द वैल्यू सो vrms कैन बी रिटन एज 1 बाय पाई इंटीग्रेशन alpha to pi look at the equation this is v in square so it becomes vm square sin square theta d theta so it becomes vm square sin square theta d theta and bracket raised to one half as it is now vm square is constant can be taken outside the integration so I will write new equation as यहाँ पे मैं बाहर integration के vm square लिखता हूँ. Inside the integration we have sin square theta d theta. Make use of the identity sin square theta is one minus cos two theta upon two. So this equation can be written as vm square upon pi integration one minus cos two theta upon two. Variable of integration is d theta and this bracket, power of this bracket is one half which we already discussed. 2 is constant so taken out, can be taken out outside this integration so I will manage to over here. Now, alag alag integration consider karte. If I am talking about this integration, two term says me, if I am talking about integration of 1, then this integration becomes 1 d theta. So, I will simply write d theta. So, this is integration theta and limits are alpha to pi. So, if you put the limits, this becomes pi minus alpha. This is integration, answer of integration of term 1. Second integration, cos 2 theta. See, we know that integration of cos, I will write it over here, cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta upon 2 and limits of integration are alpha to pi so integration of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta upon 2 limits are alpha to pi let us put the limits so it becomes sin 2 pi in place of theta i am putting upper limit that is pi minus sin 2 alpha again in place of theta i have put alpha divided by 2 as it is but we know that sin 2 pi is 0 so this term vanishes so you will get minus sin 2 alpha upon 2. Let us put these values because we have solved the integration separately. So this becomes Vm square upon 2 pi and answer of this integration is 
for first integration answer is pi minus alpha i will write it here over here pi minus alpha there is a minus sign we have solved the integration of cos 2 theta so i will keep minus sign as it is and this answer is sin 2 alpha upon 2 again there is a minus sign minus minus become plus plus sin 2 alpha upon 2 and this bracket raised to one half this is the value of vrms like the other derivations you can well mathematically simplify it but not necessary up to this stage this equation is okay next is power factor up they go if in the question it is asked uh, like uh, derive the expression draw the circuit diagram draw relevant waveform and explain uh, semiconductor and comment on the power factor then you need to uh, do this small derivation for the power factor basic equation of power factor is v0 square that is dc or uh, average voltage square divided by vrms square we already done the derivation of v0 i have simply taken square of that term vrms this is the equation we want to take square so this uh, one half sign gets vanished so i have written this equation as it is make the thing simple uh, this is pi square so one pi term and this pi term gets vanished vm square vm square gets vanished so you'll be getting 2 by pi uh, in the numerator 1 plus cos alpha bracket square divided by this denominator term as it is now if we give alpha is equals to 0 then in this case power factor will be do remember i am putting alpha is equals to 0 recall the standard identity we know that cos of 0 is equals to 1 and sine of 0 is 0 so sine of 0 is 0 so this becomes 2 by pi this is 1 plus cos 0 because i am uh, considering alpha is equals to 0 firing angle 0 so it becomes 1 plus 1 bracket square divided by this pi minus alpha becomes only pi and this term sine if you will put alpha equals to 0 then sine 0 is 0 so this term vanishes so simply this power factor can be written as this is 1 plus 1 2 square that is 4 into 2 8 by pi into pi pi square this is the maximum value of power factor provided that firing angle alpha is 0 so this is about the analysis of semiconductor so that's it for today's session thank you thanks a lot for watching this video